Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and this is Nick, our aquarist at Glen Echo Park Aquarium and we are going to be redoing our eel tank today. Yay! <laughs> so this is a before shot of the tank. So this is what it used to look like. You'll notice a PVC pipe there in the back. There's our American eel hiding inside. That PVC pipe was put in about two weeks ago and uh, it was basically in there to make sure that she would actually utilize that pipe as a cave. Uh, so we put it in there so she could test it out and she seems to like it. So we're going to actually build an insert around that pipe that she will use as a cave. Step one of this entire process is to remove the water. So here you're going to see Nick and Mr. Wilson emptying the tank, removing some of those twigs and sticks and uh, scooping out the extra sand. So one of the driving factors for actually redoing this tank, as you're going to see while they're taking it apart, is actually that none of the rocks are glued down. And so the eel was able to move them around as much as she wanted, which while that was awesome, it is also a bad thing that uh, could potentially crack the glass. So that's one of the main reasons that we are deconstructing and rebuilding this tank. actually had to clean all of the rocks and sort them by certain colors allowing for us to make the tank look nice and pretty for our eel. Alright, so we evicted our eel, Elizabeth, and she's not very pleased about it. So we draped some towels over the tank, give her a little bit of privacy. Well, we finished building her home. The uh, tube she was in that she was recently evicted from is currently being phoned into place. The goal is to make a home that she can't move. So she can hang out in there, but she's not gonna move the stuff all around like she did in the last time. Here's a glimpse under the towel fort at our pretty girl exploring her temporary home. A lot of the process is actually just trial and error, moving around the rocks and sticks the way you think it would look good, taking a step back and completely rearranging it over again. So it's a very slow process, uh, but it's basically trial and error, just seeing what's gonna look the best and what's gonna make the best home for your animals. This is what we've got so far. We've got a ton of rocks stacked up on top of the PVC tube. Essentially, we want to form a natural environment, but also hide the tube as best as possible. So we're trying to troubleshoot ways to disguise the tube, but also give her plenty of access and allow people to see inside and take a peek at her as well. You foam to set up so that I can glue in the next piece of hardscape, which is going to be a piece of manzanita root. Which one? Um, this one. So we're waiting and for this big one. around, room. you can see it's going to go like that. Sweet. the rocks as you can see because we want to get a good idea of what they're actually going to look like when they're under the water because things when they're dry look a little bit different than the actual colors they're going to look like when the tank is actually all filled up. Come, come look at this rock here and see how there's a, I left a nice big gap in between. Mm -hmm. So once it's full of sand I'll put some little pebbles in there and it'll just look like a place where, you know, all the uh, finer grains of sand and pebbles have collected. Okay. So that's why we have kind of like little gaps in between. I know right now it just looks like there's a big space in between, but it's going to be filled in. So anywhere you see white or foam, it's going to be completely covered with substrate and smaller pebbles and big pebbles, big rocks. Oh. The main foaming I'm doing, I'm using polyurethane foam. Uh, it takes about 24 hours to cure and then it's fish safe, right? 
Uh, this can is 16 ounces, costs four dollars. This can that is black, so this is the yellow stuff, and this stuff's black. Uh, the black stuff is a 12 ounce can and costs like 15 bucks. So that's why I use the ugly yellow first, and then any, anywhere I need to disguise things, the black's gonna fade, especially in the low light uh, aquarium. You know, aquariums have pretty low light towards the bottom, especially when there's gonna be a lot of shadows from all these overhangs. the black foam now. Look, it's got a fancy trigger. That's what you get with your $15 one. Love it. All right, so the PVC tank that's in the tube is gonna be the eel's main hiding spot. And the reason I'm gluing everything together is so that she doesn't move everything like she did last time. But I wanna, it's, you know, it's dark white. I, I wanna disguise it a little, so I'm gonna use some of the, the black and I'm gonna be very, use it very sparingly if I can. Are you smushing it? Um, I want it to be a little flatter. And you only have a little while where it's not so tacky that it's sticking to you, but it's not firm enough to, you know, be hard to push down. So it's really a matter of knowing exactly when to do this. It's a break. Gotta get that on the gram. Absolutely. You gotta get you gotta get the calories for the brain. Pizza you know? with the rocks and the, all the things. Here we are actually gluing the rocks in place, covering up the tube and making a nice little cave. So what are you trying right now? I'm going to try to push some sand into the polyurethane foam. This is an experiment. Pretty much. process is all about making minor adjustments and trying to make the whole habitat look as natural as possible. don't necessarily have to be glued in on top of the sand. sand and rocks and things like that we were able to slowly fill up the tank and get a good look at what it actually looks like uh, then we would drain it make any final small adjustments and then it would be ready to go for our eel and here we are eel moving day so here you can see mr wilson grabbing ellie and tossing her in the net so she's going to be transported from her temporary home over there into her brand new tank. So now we're going to see how she likes it and pray she is able to find the cave and enjoys it. So we're all just kind of holding our breath and uh, watching to see her reaction now.
here you can see the little tip of her nose peeking out and she has made it to her new home. Thank you guys for joining us on this video today. Be sure to follow us at GEP Aquarium and donate on our website.